you're only working with warm, soapy water. But if you're concerned about safety, and if you have little kids around, you might want to consider putting on some safety goggles if you got them. Let me show you a variation you might want to try. Turn the heat source off. Take your pie pan off. And put your coins of the same denomination on the heat surface. What this will do is allow the heat to be directed in those spots. In this case, I have five pennies, and hopefully you'll get five convection cells developing where these touch the pan. Turn your heat source back on, on a low setting. Keep an eye on it. Let me show you some other cool things to try. You can take some food coloring, like a darker variety, pop it on the side of your pie pan, and watch what happens. See where that dye travels. See where it sinks, and see where it pops up in your convection cells. Another thing to try is to take your pan off the heating surface and put it on a nice, cool surface, and watch what happens. This might take a while. Make sure that it's cool enough to touch, though. Finally, the last thing you might want to try is putting your pan back on the heat source, but this time you're going to turn it up really high. Since the liquid's going to get really hot, this time I highly recommend, if you got them, put on a pair of goggles. Depending on the soap you're using, the change you're about to see might be pretty dramatic. Pan's getting pretty hot. Pretty cool, huh? In the next video, I'll tell you more about what's going on.